Glory be to Jesus, child of God. You are all welcome to our first fellowship of the year 2022. Wow, what a privilege and honor for you and I to be alive in the land of the living today. Beloved, in this glorious service, I want every one of you to rise up on your feet as we begin to appreciate this God who made it possible for us to scare through the year 2021, who brought you and your family, your loved ones into the year 2022, who kept you to this first day of our fellowship reopening. Open your mouth wherever you are under the sound of my voice and begin to appreciate your father, worship his holy name, adore his holy name, magnify his holy name. This can only be the Lord's doing alone. If he has not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel say so. Let you say so. If he has not been the Lord who has been on our side, would have been destroyed by our enemies. They would have consumed us with their shine, with their enchantment, with their incantations, with their divination. But the Lord Almighty was there for us. He was there fighting our battles. He was there winning all the battles for us. He was there caring for us, providing our needs, increasing us on every side. Open your mouth wherever you are, online, offline, hearing the sound of my voice and appreciate your Father this moment. Give him the glory, give him the honor, give him the adoration. It is not of him indeed that will it. It is not of him that run it, but of God that showed mercy. Open your mouth and give him the glory. Worship your father. Worship your maker. Worship the king of kings. Lord, we are super grateful. Jesus, we are super grateful. El Shaddai, we are super grateful. Receive your Lord. All the glory, all the honor. Honor all adoration in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved, in this glorious service, I just want you to pray two more prayers. The first prayer I want you to pray this morning is this Father, this year 2022, do something in my life, do something in my business, do something in this ministry that nobody can take credit for. Or say that if he has not been for them, uh, our life will not receive a turnaround. Uh, our life will not receive a change. Uh, we will not have that breakthrough. Uh, we will not have that success. Uh, can you please open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer from the whole of your heart? Uh, say, Father, do something new in my life. Uh, uh, this year, 2022, uh, that no man, no human personality will take credit of. Uh, that all the glory will be ascribed unto you. Uh, that nobody will say, if it has not been me that helped her, if it has not been me that helped her ministry, if it has not been me that was there, this thing wouldn't have happened for her. Open your mouth and begin to talk to your father. Say, Father, this year do something new uh, in my ministry, in my business, in my career, that no man, no woman will take credit of her. Hey, that nobody will say, if it has not been them, uh, that thing will not happen for us. That thing will not happen for our children. That thing will not happen for our husband. That thing will not happen in our homes. That thing will not happen in this ministry. Open your mouth and place a demand on your father right now. Say, Father, let there be something tremendous, something remarkable. Hey, that will happen for me this year. Financially, career-wise, ministerially, that nobody will take credit for. That no man or woman will take credit for that nobody will say if they have not been there that it wouldn't have happened for us you are the maker of the universe you are the alpha and you are the omega you are the miracle worker father do something new something new that no man no woman will take credit of to the exaltation of your name lord in the name of jesus christ we pray amen 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 
And the second prayer we are going to pray is that God should remember us. Most of you are conversant with the scriptures. The Bible was speaking concerning the only grandson of King Saul. And the Bible said that that son called Mephibosheth, this young man has been a Lodeba since the father and the, father, uh, the grandfather died. But something happened in the life of that man. In 2 Samuel chapter 9, one faithful day, David woke up and the remembrance happened for that young boy. And in verses 1, David said, Is there yet any that is left of the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? That I may show him kindness for the sake of his father, for the sake of the good that the father did. Beloved, I don't know your family, I don't know where you came from, but we are going to ask the Lord and say, Father, that God that remembered Mephibosheth, you know, when I was reading that scripture in verses 8, there is something that Mephibosheth said by himself that really struck me. Mephibosheth said to uh, King David, he said, Who am I that you should, you shouldn't look upon me? in such a manner, a dead dog as I am. The condition of this prince that was supposed to be a ruler in the land, that was supposed to set the place of kingship, his condition was so bad that even people around him began to call him a dead dog, that he himself began to accept the condition. He himself began to accept the name they were giving to him. Beloved, I do not know what name and title your condition has given to you, but you are going to call upon the God of remembrance. I say, Father, because I am in this fellowship today, being the first fellowship of the year, I ask that you, God of hosts, will remember me. Even in this condition where men and women has forgotten me, Lord, I ask that you, God, will remember me. As you remember me, people shit, and you use case to remember him. Lord, this year 2022, remember me, oh Lord, remember me, my father, remember me this place that man has abandoned me, this place that even my father's relations, my father's servants, ah, has abandoned me. Ah, Mephibosheth was abandoned by even his father's servant. They took over his father's property. They were eating from it. But this young man was somewhere suffering. This young man was somewhere dying. This young man was somewhere being called different kind of names. I hope you are praying. Speak to your father and say, Father, remember me. Hey, remember me, Jehovah. As you remember me, Fibosheth. In this year, 2022, I ask your divine remembrance upon my life, upon my family, upon my husband, upon my children. Lord, remember us. El Shaddai, remember us. Elohim, remember us. In this state of forgetfulness, in this condition, in this village, in this location, wherein I am, Jehovah, remember me. In this year, 2022, change my story, Lord. Restore back to me all I have lost. Change my story, Lord. Change my status, Lord. Change my story, Lord. Change my status, Lord. Remember me, my father. Change my story, Lord. Change my status, Father. Restore back to me everything I have lost. Everything I have lost. Everything I have lost. Lord, don't just remember me, Lord. We come on us. Use grace, men. Men of honor. Men of influence. Ah, to remember me. Magabagadu and change my story and lift up my head. Lord, change my story, Lord. By the reason of the remembrance of my state, this year 2022, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Beloved, I pray for you. Because you are here today, in this first fellowship of the year, I ask that the same God that remembered Mephibosheth, I ask that he will remember you. I say, Kabashuta, I say, may this God remember you. May he remember your status. May he change your status. May he use men of honor, men of influence, kings and queens to remember you this year and lift you above that condition you are. But for 
financially, spiritually, materially, and otherwise. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen.